Good morning. The Edmonton Police Service has concluded its investigation into last year's devastating house explosion in North Edmonton that claimed several lives. Investigations revealed the explosion was a result of natural gas buildup within the Poirier Herd House at 180111 91A Street due to someone altering the natural gas line prior to the blast. This was uh, an, uh, a very complex investigation uh, from the very beginning. Um, and part of it is we don't want to look at any assumptions. It's, we have to do a uh, thorough investigation. That involves time. Uh, we, we needed some uh, reports back from the medical examiner's office. We needed to have the fire investigators do their reports and investigation, as well as our blast uh, investigators had to do their report. Once all of those reports were done uh, and compiled, we did a review on it, and we're now prepared to say that our investigation has closed as a result of all those reports. How long was the home filling with uh, natural gas, do you know? Uh, we don't know. I mean, uh, in order for an explosion, there's there's all kinds of variables. Uh, you know, sometimes too much gas and it won't ignite. It's a, it's that perfect combination between oxygen and and the uh, uh, gas that would cause it to go off. We don't know how long it would go. You know, this was a determined to be in, one of the deaths was determined to be non-criminal. But do you know if that was a was that a suicide or was that an accident? Do you know that? We we don't know. We don't want to have the opportunity to spoke, speak to that person, so we wouldn't be able to determine. That. There was propane tanks, uh, however they weren't breached, so uh, again, uh, the, the cause of the explosion would have been that natural gas. Were they intended to be involved in this, do you think? I don't know. Do you know how many there were? I don't, I don't know. There were Did they blow up as well because of the natural gas? No, they didn't. Do you know what ignited the gas? I mean, there, with natural gas, anything can happen. Everything from a, a furnace clicking on, from uh, an appliance turn, uh, you know, turning on, static electricity, to, again, that combination of gas and air. and. Uh, there's all kinds of things that cause that to happen. Just to clarify, this is the case of somebody who killed someone and then tried to hide. Is that right? It appears to be that way, yes. So where do you go from here? Is it over? Well, we've done the investigation. I know that uh, uh, the families, uh, and uh, you know, the affected families, not only just uh, that lost uh, family members through this, uh, this incident, but there, of course, the, the community around there. It was, it was devastating for the whole community. It's taken a long time for uh, a lot of them to rebuild. In fact, a couple of the houses up there still are, are sitting vacant, and uh, we're done our investigation. We're not involved with what's happening in the community at all. Um, you know, so it's been a long time.